What, unlearn the expressions in Kotlin, have you ever wondered how to supercharge your code with the magic of Lambda expressions? In this video, we'll unravel the secrets behind Lambda expressions in Kotlin, a powerful tool that every modern developer should wield. Join us to uncover the game-changing potential that lies within these expressions and witness the immediate impact they can have on your coding mastery. Get ready to take your Kotlin skills to the next level and witness firsthand the transformative power of Lambda expressions. So, buckle up and get ready for a mind-blowing adventure that will revolutionize the way you approach programming in Kotlin. I remember those early days coding in Kotlin as if they were yesterday. I was but a fab fledgling developer making my first forays into the world of enterprise software. Each day brought new challenges that tested my grit and ingenuity. In particular, I grappled long and hard with the verbose syntax of anonymous inner classes. Oh, how I labored to instantiate those clumsy anonymous classes binding data and functions together like a swaddled babe. Many a night, I lay awake, visions of endless anonymous class declarations dancing in my head. But then came Kotlin like a cool mountain breeze after days in the oppressive heat. I shall never forget the moment I wrote my first Lambda expression, feeling the shackles of Java drop away. Suddenly, everything was concise, elegant, and beautiful in its simplicity, like a zebra bounding over Addo Elephant Park. My code was now light and free. As the years passed, Lambda expressions became like a faithful friend, always at my side. Together, we overcame trial after trial, from complex business logic to the most gnarled nested hierarchies. Look how far we've come from those early days of toil. And now, my friends, I shall reveal the deeper mysteries of Lambda expressions in Kotlin. Join me, and together we shall venture into the very heart of functional programming, where code flows like the Ameva River through the valley. This is but the next leg in our great journey. In the world of programming, Lambda expressions have become a powerful tool for creating concise and flexible code. Kotlin, a modern and versatile programming language, fully embraces the concept of Lambda expressions, allowing developers to re write more expressive and efficient code. In this video, we will explore the ins and outs of Lambda expressions in Kotlin, understanding their syntax, usage, and the benefits they bring to the table. Understanding Lambda expressions in Kotlin. Lambda expressions, also known as anonymous functions, are a way to define functions without explicitly naming them. They provide a concise and powerful syntax for creating small, self-contained blocks of code that can be passed around as variables, making them ideal for functional programming paradigms. What is the syntax for defining a lambda expression in Kotlin? Do Kotlin lambdas make your head spin? Struggling to crop the syntax even after reading tutorials that make it seem easy? You're not alone. Learn the insider secrets for demystified Kotlin Lambda expressions in just five minutes so that you can impress colleagues and stop getting stalled on basic coding tasks. The winds of change were blowing as I embarked on my quest to conquer the syntax of Lambda expressions in the Kotlin language. Like the great African explorers searching for the source of the Nile, I ventured forth into unfamiliar territory, armed only with determination and a thirst for knowledge. My journey began simply enough. I started with the basics, how to declare lambda parameters, body, and return types. The concepts came swiftly, like a herd of wildebeest thundering across the Serengeti. 
yet mastery remained tantisingly out of reach, as if masked by the mists rising from Table Mountain's mighty peak. I pressed on, undaunted, through trial and error, success and failure. The, lambda syn the intricacies of lambda syntax began to reveal themselves to me. I traversed the tundra of obscure edge cases. I navigated the labyrinth of functional interfaces. I fended off hordes of compiler er errors like a hardy band of African warriors fending their homestead until finally I stood triumphant at the summit. The kingdom of lambda expressions lay before me, surrendered and subjugated. My odyssey was at an end. I seized mastery with both hands through determination and grit in the face of adversity. As I basked in the golden glow of achievement, I knew my journey was not yet over. But beyond the horizon lay new challenges, new worlds to conquer. Other warriors would follow in my footsteps one day, and I'd need to guide them to chart the course so that they could venture further than I'd ever dreamed. So come, join me in this video. I'll go into more detail about the syntax of lambda expressions in Kotlin. Let us travel together to the heart of mastery. In Kotlin, lambda expressions follow a specific syntax pattern. They are defined using curly braces and can optionally take parameters and return a value. The basic structure of a lambda expression in Kotlin is as follows. Alf, lambda name, and then in brackets, parameter type, and then arrow, return type, equals, and then in curly braces, parameter, arrow, expression. Now, let's break down the different components of the syntax. Our lambda name. This is the variable that will hold the lambda expression. Parameter type in brackets, and then arrow return type. This specifies the type of the lambda expression. It includes the parameter types in parentheses followed by the arrow, and then the return type, and then parameter. This is the name of the parameters that the lambda expression takes. Expression. This is the body of the lambda expression where you can write the logic for your function. For example, here is a lambda that doubles a number. Val double equals, and then in curly braces, x of type int, and then arrow x times 2. We can also call it like a regular function. Val result equals double, and then 5 in parentheses, which is double times 5, which is 10. Now the full explicit syntax looks like val double of type int arrow int equals and then in, in curly braces x arrow x times 2. But in most cases the types can be omitted thanks to Kotlin's type inference. Now some other example lambda expressions in curly braces um, arrow and then um, in quotation marks default value which is an example of no parameters and then there's uh, in curly braces x y arrow x plus y which is an example of a lambda with multiple parameters now lambda expressions can also be destructured like regular method parameters an example being and then in curly braces and then in parentheses x y and then arrow x plus y. Now overall, the syntax is very flexible, but always follows the same underlying structure. Parameters, arrow, body. What are the benefits of lambda expressions in Kotlin? Feeling bogged down by the messy code and effort required to pass behavior around in Kotlin? Struggling to unlock the benefits of functional programming? Learn how lambda expressions provide a clear Benefit, a concise way to tidily write and easily pass functional logic that will revolutionize your Kotlin code. In just a few minutes, I'll demonstrate the coding benefits Lambdas bring through the cleaned up code and unlock power that saves you major time and effort. Shimmering Kotlin code on my screen enticed me like the treasures of ancient kings. 
I had heard tales of the power held in these land lambda expressions. Our few lines could accomplish tasks that once took hundreds. My fingers trembled, not with fear, but anticipation as I wrote my first lambda. Its syntax flowed naturally like the waters of the Ameva River. The code took on new elegance and simplicity, yet yielded immense benefits. Where before my functions sprouted on for pages, our single life could invoke their power. As I leashed my lambdas on problems once deemed intricate, they sliced through them with graceful efficiency. Soon, lambdas permeated my code base, bestowing clarity and control wherever they went. Tasks redundant and tiresome were swept away, replaced by concise and readable expressions that revealed the true heart of my logic. Coding became an art form and the benefits shone as bright as the African sun overhead. Power that once lay locked behind monolithic methods now sat at my fingertips, ready to be summed. Yes, in these lambda expressions, I had found a treasure beyond gold and their jewels. Their benefits rippled through my code and showed me glimpses of the elegance programming could attain. Under my careful crafting, Kotlin was transformed, elevated by lambdas into something far greater than before. A whole new world had opened up one line at a time. Lambda expressions bring several benefits to Kotlin development, making code more concise, expressive, and flexible. Here are some of the key advantages. Why is conciseness a benefit of Lambda expressions in Kotlin? And the felt bogged down by bulky code that seems to fight you every step of the way? Discover the sleek power of Kotlin's Lambda expressions in our latest video, where we'll transform your coding experience from frustratingly verbose to elegantly concise. Say goodbye to clustered code and hello to a world of coding efficiency. Lambda expressions allow you to write more compact code by eliminating the need for explicit function declarations. This leads to cleaner and more readable code, especially when dealing with small and self-contained functions. For example, compare this regular function, fun, double, and then in brackets, x of type integer, and then the function being of type integer, in curly braces, which is the body of the function, return x times 2 to this simple lambda doing the same work. Val double equals, and then in curly braces, x of type int, arrow x times 2. Why is enhanced functional programming a benefit of lambda expressions in Kotlin? Tired of messy code that's hard to read and debug, our Kotlin's lambda expressions provide a clear and concise that's easy to understand and much less error prone. I'll show you how to harness the power of functional programming to write simpler, safer applications in less time. Lambda expressions are a core feature of functional programming, and Kotlin support for lambda expressions opens up a whole new world of functional programming possibilities. With Lambda Expressions, you can easily work with higher order functions, form functional transformations on connections, and embrace the functional programming paradigm. Furthermore, treating functions as values allows adopting functional concepts like deferred lazy evaluation, immutability and lack of side effects, and recursive functions instead of loops. This declarative style abstracts flow control away from stateful code, which reduces bugs. Why is flexibility a benefit of lambda expressions in Kotlin? Sick of rigid, bulky code that's hard to maintain, struggling with callbacks making your Kotlin confusing? Learn how lambda expressions introduce flexibility that will revolutionize your development experience 
in just two minutes by treating Lambda expressions as first-class citizens. Kotlin enables you to pass them as arguments, store them in variables, and return them from functions. This provides a high level of flexibility, allowing you to dynamically adjust the behavior of your code at runtime. Why is improved efficiency a benefit of Lambda expressions in Kotlin? Spending too much time writing boilerplate code? Learn how Kotlin's Lambda expressions can help you code more efficiently and with less verbosity. This segment will demonstrate how Lambda streamline your code by allowing you to pass functions as parameters, promising cleaner, more reusable code functions that get right to the point. The concise nature of Lambda expressions can lead to more efficient code as unnecessary boilerplate is eliminated. Additionally, the ability to pass Lambda expressions as arguments to higher order function can reduce code duplication and improve code reuse. Why is interoperability a benefit of Lambda expressions in Kotlin? Feeling overwhelmed by verbose tangled code? Struggling with interoperability nightmares between Java and Kotlin? Learn how Kotlin's sleek Lambda expressions can help uniting languages and delivering delightfully succinct yet readable code in just minutes. Tame the mess and harness the power. Why is interoperability a benefit of Lambda expressions in Kotlin? Lambda seamlessly converts to Java 8 plus functional interfaces like Runnable, providing easy interoperability as evidenced by the code that I'm placing on the screen now. An example of this is the code where I declare a variable called runnable, val runnable equals runnable. And then in the lambda, you place the logic. This enables levering, leveraging lambdas for Android, Spring Framework, Rx Java, and more. Why is concurrency a benefit of lambda expressions in Kotlin? Tired of your apps grinding to a halt when doing complex tasks? Learn how Kotlin's Lambda expressions label easy concurrency, allowing your apps to stay responsive even during intensive processing. Concurrency of Kotlin Lambdas. Executing logic asynchronously is easy by passing Lambdas to threads, callbacks, deferred values, and flows. The first piece of code is an example of a thread where the code runs in parallel. The second piece of code is a function with a callback where the code is to be called later. So in this, which means that there's no need for separate runnable classes. Using Lambda expressions in Kotlin examples, see clear examples of how Lambda expressions can declutter your Kotlin code. Tired of messy anonymous classes getting in the way, through easy to follow examples, learn how lambdas provide a concise and elegant way to pass behavior in just a few lines, making your code more readable and maintainable. Under the relentless African sun, I found myself much like the weary antelope on the cusp of an evolution. I am Kanisa Keke, an aspiring software developer with an old soul and a hunger for the wild. A lion with a laptop, if you will. I studied and thrived in the structured world of Java, like a leopard in his well-trodden territory. My comfort was in the known, the predictable. Here in the open landscape of possibilities and under the boabad of innovation, Kotkin seemed to beckon to me, the whispered of promises of smoother syntax and cleaner code through the rustling branches. The moment the necessity dawned, he crested like the first light over Table Mountain. I wanted my code to sing the songs of the Isi Parsa to hold as much mystery and efficiency as the Ameva River. I needed to step out of my own boundaries. I ventured into the uncharted grasslands where code 
was not merely written, but summoned like rains in a dry spell. The JSON object, a Nile crocodile, snappy and misleading, but lambda expressions, they were the elusive leopards, powerful and succinct, hiding their might within curly braces. I stumbled initially, syntax errors biting at my heels like pesky ZZ flies, but with each function passed as a parameter in each operation abstracted behind translucent braces, I became one with the concept. I adapted just as the sturdy acacia roots twist deep into the earth. I desired brevity and flexibility and landers heeded my call. With anonymous glory, they brought a newfound grace to my code, reducing lines like the horizon swallows the sun at dusk. The price of my yearning was naught but the pain of change. Like the migration of wildebeest, it was taxing, laden with perils. A mind once stretched could never return to its old dimensions. Sated with my conquest, laden with the spoils of learning, I returned to my cradle of tradition. Yet, it was not the same, for I bore the markings of my journey like the scars on a warrior's visage. Java to me now resembled the old Buabab, strong but stark against the innovation sweeping through the code like Hamatan winds. I had changed just like the savannah does with the seasons. The lions within me, both old and new, lay side by side. Java and Kotlin in a coalition of power and potential. Lambdas had become the new roars echoing through the plains of my endeavor, a testament to my growth, a balance struck between the old dominion and, and the desired and the destined evolution. So beneath the vast raw sky, in the cradle of mankind and machine, I found a merger of worlds in this digital savannah, armed with the spear of a warrior in the keystrokes of a coda. I wielded lambdas as I would my resolve, with precision, purpose, and a profound respect for the wilderness of innovation. One of the key advantages of Lambda expressions is their ability to be used as first-class citizens in Kotlin. This means that you can treat Lambda expressions just like any other variable, passing them as arguments to functions, storing them in variables, or even returning them from other functions. How to pass Lambda expressions as arguments in Kotlin and Zample. Feeling overwhelmed by callback hell in your Kotlin code? Learn the elegant Kotlin solution. Pass behavior as lambdas instead of annoying anonymous classes and simplify your code with functional goodness. How to pass lambda expressions as arguments in Kotlin? Example. A common use case for lambda expressions is to pass them as arguments to higher order functions. Higher order functions are functions that either take other functions as parameters or return parameters as their result. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, we have a higher order function called process data that takes a list of integers and the lambda expression as arguments. The lambda expression int arrow unit presents a function that takes an integer as a parameter and returns nothing. Inside the process data function, we loop through the list of numbers and apply the lambda expression to each item. How to store lambda expressions in variables in Kotlin example. Are lambda expressions confusing you in Kotlin? Do you struggle to understand how to properly store and utilize them, learn the simple trick to effortlessly capture lambdas in handy variables for clean, reusable code in just minutes. How to store lambda expressions in variables in Kotlin example. Another powerful feature of lambda expressions is the ability to store them in variables. This allows you to reuse lambda expressions throughout your code. Here's an example. In this example, we define a lambda expression called multiply that takes two integers as parameters and returns their product. We then store this lambda 
expression in a variable called multiply. This variable can now be used as a regular function taking two integers and returning their product. How to return lambda expressions from functions in Kotlin example. Do lambda functions confuse you in Kotlin? Learn the simple trick to easily return lambda expressions from your Kotlin functions so you can write cleaner, more readable code that will impress your colleagues. After watching, lambda returns will be a breeze even for Kotlin beginners. How to return lambda expressions from functions in Kotlin example. Lambda expressions can also be returned from functions allowing you to dynamically generate functions based on certain conditions or calculations. Here's an example. In this example, we have a function cre called create multiplier that takes an integer factor as a parameter and returns a lambda expression int arrow int. This lambda expression multiplies the input number by the factor. In the main function, we create a multiplier by calling create multiplier then in, in, in brackets 3 and then use this multiplier to multiply the number 5. The result printed as the result is 15. When is the it keyword used in lambda expressions in Kotlin example? Struggling to understand Kotlin lambdas, feeling lost trying to figure out when to use the mysterious it parameter? Watch this quick video to gain clarity and confidence using it in Kotlin lambdas through simple explanations and practical examples you can apply immediately. When is the it keyword used in lambda expressions in Kotlin? In Kotlin, if a lambda expression has only one parameter, you can use the it keyword as a shorthand for that parameter. This makes the code more concise and readable. Here's an example. In this example, we have a list of numbers and we want to filter out the numbers greater than 3 and print them. Instead of explicitly defining the parameter in the lambda expression, we can use the it keyword to refer to each element in the list. This allows us to write more succinct code. How to use collection filtering in lambda expressions in Kotlin example. Tired of messy lambda code cluttering up your Kotlin app? Learn how collection filtering can declutter and simplify your lambdas in just five minutes with this easy Kotlin tutorial that will have your code looking clean and professional. How to use collection filtering in lambda expressions in Kotlin example. A very popular example is filtering lists using the dot filter curly braces standard library function. You pass a predicate lambda to filter that returns true or false to select elements. Here's an example on screen. Clear variable called file numbers uh, in the list of, of type list of. Then you have a list of numbers and then you declare another variable called val evens. And then it applies the numbers dot, um, then you say numbers dot filter. Then you say it um, divided by two equals zero zero in curly braces, which is to say that you filter the even numbers to produce a another variable to to insert the, uh, the even numbers into the evens variable and then we can filter by any condition without requiring temporary variables or loops so chaining the filter and function and map function together is also common the example is below val filtered and mapped equals values that we declare a variable called val filtered and mapped equals values then you apply the dot filter it greater than two in curly braces and then the dot map it times three. This maps all values over two to triple their value. How to use event handling in lambda expressions in Kotlin example. Tired of tangled callback spaghetti code cluttering your Kotlin apps? Learn how Kotlin's slick lambda ex expressions and built-in event handlers let you write cleaner event-driven code that's easier to read and maintain. I'll explain it all clearly in 10 minutes with helpful examples 
you can apply immediately. How to use event handling in Lambda expressions in Kotlin example. Lambdas are extremely useful for event handling in Android GUI apps by running code when events occur. An example of this that I show here is the button dot set on, on click listener. And then in the curly braces, which is the Lambda, we have a display alert dialog function, which activates when the button is clicked. Therefore, there's no need to create single method interfaces. And you can also use lambdas for asynchronous event streams with Rx Java, Flow APIs, etc. How to use threading lambda expressions in Kotlin example? Struggling with slow code? Learn a simple trick that makes your Kotlin apps faster and more responsive. Threading lambda expressions can greatly improve performance with just a few extra lines. This quick video walks through a real example so you can use Kotlin coroutines like our pro. We can create threads by passing a lambda instead of needing a separate runnable class. Here's an example, a thread with a print numbers function, then the dot start to start the thread, which results in cleaner syntax without extra classes. Lambdas also work great with coroutines for non-blocking concurrency. How to use functional interfaces in Lambda expressions in Kotlin. Tired of verbose how to read code in Java, struggling with interfaces and functional programming, Kotlin makes it easy. In this segment, I'll show you how Lambda expressions let you write concise yet powerful code using, using functional interfaces. You'll simplify your programs and impress colleagues with Kotlin's elegance in under 10 minutes. I was an eager coder named Kanisa, well versed in the basics of Kotlin, but always looking to expand my toolkit, hearing whispers of the power to write more expressive and concise code. I set my sights on mastering functional interfaces and Lambda expressions. My journey began when I encountered a repetitive boilerplate code that cluttered my projects. I needed a spell to simplify it. A spell I found in the form of single abstract method SAM conversions. Now if a sneak Lambdas where once they were only cumbersome anonymous classes. Stepping into this unknown territory, I created my first functional interface, a single method contract promising a transformation of data. But how to make it truly powerful? The answer lay in SAM conversions, which made my code not just run, but sing with simplicity. Through the mystical archives of Stack Overflow, and the sacred texts of kotlinlang.org are hunted for knowledge. I learned that by using the fun modifier to declare a functional interface, I could empower the interface with the ability to embrace a lambda expression. And then I found it amidst a flurry of keystrokes. I conjured a lambda expression in place of my functional interface. A single abstract method became a simple lambda embodying both the input and the output without the need for additional syntax. I took this newfound wisdom and refactored a chunk of my existing code, where once I had verbose anonymous classes, I now had elegant lambdas. My application not only looked cleaner, but performed tasks with greater efficiency, triumphant. I returned to my fellow developers sharing the spoils of my quest. They marveled at the before and after of my code, witnessing how converting to lambdas eradicated verbosity in favor of clarity and brevity. Formed by this venture, I pledged to promote this readable and concise style. Armed with functional interfaces and lambda expressions, my forays into coding came more 
enjoyable, and productive. The landscape of my daily coding was forever changed. Thus concludes the chapter of my saga in the enchanting world of Kotlin. The arcane knowledge of functional interfaces and lambda expressions now part of my arsenal. I look forward to whatever programming quests may come next. How to use functional interfaces in lambda expressions in Kotlin. An important link between lambdas and Java is functional interfaces. A functional interface defines a single abstract method that serves as its functional method signature. Kotlin automatically converts lambda expressions to an instance of Java functional interfaces as needed for interoperability. For example, Runnable is frequently used with threads in Java, as we can see from this, as we can see from this piece of Java code, public interface runnable, then in curly brackets, public abstract void run. We can construct a runnable using a Kotlin Lambda instead of an anonymous class. We declare a variable called runnable equals runnable and then in curly braces, put the thread logic. Then we say thread and then runnable, the variable runnable dot start. The Lambda translates to a runnable instance behind the scene. The Lambda translates to a runnable instance behind the scenes. Some other common functional interfaces used by Kotlin developers include the comparator for sorting with the compare method. The consumer accepts inputs with the accept method. The predicate assesses conditions via the test method. The function is, a more, is for more generic function types. The event listener handles UI events. Using lambdas as functional interfaces unlocks interoperability with fundamental Java APIs like streams, Swing, Spring Framework, and more. Conclusion to Lambda Expressions, Kotlin. Feeling overwhelmed by Lambdas, struggling to grasp those cryptic arrows in curly braces. Watch this video, finally get closure. We'll recap Lambda in simple terms, see examples of how they elegantly solve real problems, and wrap up with clarity so you can code with confidence. Lambda expressions are a powerful feature of Kotlin that allow for the creation of concise and flexible code. By treating functions as first-class citizens, Kotlin enables developers to write expressive and efficient code that is easy to read and maintain. Whether you're working with higher order functions, transforming collections, or implementing functional programming principles, Lambda expressions in Kotlin provide a valuable tool for achieving your programming goals. Start leveraging the power of Lambda expressions in your Kotlin projects and unlock a whole new level of code elegance and efficiency. With that being said, are you tired of those pesky runtime now pointer exceptions crashing your apps? Let us now take a look at another feature of Kotlin, now safety. With Kotlin's built-in now safety, you can say goodbye to worrying about NPEs. Instead, leverage the power of strict compile time checks to catch issues early while writing cleaner, safer code. Learn how Kotlin makes handling nulls simple and intuitive in this quick video.